So this is the first time for us Formula Drift to come in into Miami homestead. Um, we've been in uh, Palm Beach for the last two years, but this is like a couple hours away, I guess. To figure the track in such a short time because we only have Thursday practice and Friday little practice and going to qualifying. Um, so we all have to figure the track really quick. And I don't know what everybody does, but I do. You know, I just drive through without drifting once and, you know, kind of see oh, how to drive and kind of like guess how to drive. And then, you know, actually start drifting. And if there's any issues, um, think about it. And also watch other drivers driving, talk to other drivers, how do you, how you do this. Um, and other thing is the gearing too. It, it, it kind of makes big difference. So I always try to figure the best gear setup as soon as possible. You know, I like this place, you know, no complaints really. Uh, the infield is super cool. It really reminds me of like Horse Thief Mile with that bowl around clip three. You know, I, I enjoy being here. You know, it seems like a fun track to drive. I think a lot of people are enjoying it. Some people hate it, but yeah. Oh well, don't complain, you get a drift for a living, come on. You know, the car setup, Race Tech Services really just, they, they do so much work off the track that when we get to the track, we have such a good setup. It took about three runs to make the changes that we needed to really dial the car in. And then we basically took everything that we knew on Thursday and, and Friday, made a quick little change this morning and the car feels better than ever. It's really easy to drive, very adjustable behind um, pretty much any driver, it felt like. Just overthinking stuff I don't think works. Just put yourself in the situation, you know, and just deal with it, kind of thing. Um, not as simple as that, you know, when it comes to practice and stuff, it's all action, things like that. But if you overthink it, you're just gonna lose sleep and you're just not, you know, it's just not worth it, as far as I can see. I'm better when I'm relaxed and, you know, I get in the car and I probably think about it after I warm the tires. So you can overthink it depending on who you're against and things like that. So, you know, I don't prepare in any way, shape or form, go over stuff. engine issue. Uh, it, it, was, it happened actually right before the qualifying run. I was like basically doing a do, uh, donuts to you know burn some uh, tires and I was just about to go and then it, it just shut shut down and we found out it was some uh, cam sensor thing just broken which is not like blowing engine or anything so but we, we just didn't have enough time to fix it because I was so like excited to go into the run and I was like, you know, in my head I was like doing over and over and okay, I'm ready, right? Um, and then just shut off. So I was like, you know, like, I, I don't know what to say, you know? I, I feel like I'm saying this all the time this year, but uh, this is the only thing I can say. We're gonna come back stronger and the car will be ready and we will do well in round four. So please keep following us. So yeah, when uh, Kenny led, unfortunately, he got me by about three cars by the first corner. And it was three cars for the whole run. So when I led, I put down a pretty good run, probably a better lead run than his lead. But he was right there and he had no problem keeping up with me. So it's a weird one. Uh, I can't put my finger on it right now. That's what happened, so, you know, he moved on, and uh, yeah, we got to uh, get to go to the next one, and hopefully we're fast. Well, this motor has a lot of potential, it's giving us a few teething problems, you know. I guess it's never as, as easy as, you know, okay, we need a little bit more power, and oh, we've got a little bit more power, and, and why, why isn't it working? You know, it's never that easy, but, you know, when the guys are so good at what they do, at SPD and everything, you hope it's going to be that easy, if you know what I mean. I mean, this weekend isn't a complete write-off. Um, 
you have to take positives from it. If you just keep getting knocked down and everything is negative, then we're not going to get back on the podium like we should be. You know, you have to take positives from it. I learned a lot. The motor is actually running the way it should, which I learned a lot from driving it. You know, I don't think we will come to the next event with a setup so conservative looking at what we ended up using here, things like that, you know. So we take those positives. We know how we can improve little areas, try and get the car back to SPD, improve those things, come back out and uh, just keep improving this thing until we're right up there, you know. Buddy, good luck. Take a deep breath, get relaxed, and uh, don't overdrive it. Do what you do best. Dude, so uh, let's see how they uh, favor that. I mean, he dropped, a, dropped right in front of me. Uh, he took off like after two. I don't know. All right, guys, we're going one more time. Uh, apparently, you dropping two wheels was uh, worse than him straining out. Then he, I dropped two wheels. Uh, he dropped the tire. Like I don't think I dropped two. Yeah, I know, but uh, just, just hit your marks again, dude. Uh, he can't follow you, so just hit your marks, do the same thing. Uh, you'll be fine. We'll do it one more time. successful team so this is a bit you know weird and uh, yeah we gotta fix it simple as that so round three in Miami really didn't go the way we wanted to and you know part of me is still like really bummed right now at this moment so it's it's hard for me to say like oh we're gonna be super strong and come back really well and do the destroy in next round it's gonna be hard for me to say it, say it right now, but that's the plan. 